Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV is a weekly series of interviews with industry experts on the latest topics in travel e-business, and specifically online merchandising practices that help hoteliers extract more value out of their online presence. As always, we encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com to suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm joined by Robert Cole, the founder of Rock Cheetah. Rock Cheetah provides hospitality marketing strategy and travel technology management advisory services to the global lodging and tourism industries. Robert has worked with hotels, resorts, destinations, and online travel agencies to align their marketing strategies with the most effective technologies. Robert, thank you for joining us on VTV and welcome. Thank you, John. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, our first topic uh, in this uh, series with you, Robert, is uh, all around the idea of personas. Uh, it seems to be a hot topic in, in uh, certainly in marketing circles and in uh, e-business circles. And what we're going to want to delve into today is how a hotelier can increase the relevance of their hotel's online content using personas. Uh, before we start, can you help us uh, by giving us a good definition of what a persona is? Certainly. A persona is really the motivation for why someone is taking a trip. And it's very different from traditional market segmentation that people may look at in terms of pure demographics. For example, if I'm taking a trip, <laughs> excuse me, I wind up having a variety of personas depending on what I'm doing. For example, if I'm on a business trip, I may book through certain channels, use certain technologies, consider certain properties, consider obviously perhaps a destination that may be dictated by a, by a third party where I really don't have much flexibility. Even the hotel may, may be dictated by a third party where I don't have the flexibility. But there still may be decisions that I have in terms of what I'm going to do and what I'm going to experience on that trip. That business persona of when I'm traveling can be very, very different from when I'm traveling, for example, on a romantic getaway with my wife. All of a sudden, we can pick the destinations and the activities, what we want to do, what we want to accomplish, very, very different and very, very different motivations. Similarly, when I travel with my family, again, a very, very different set of motivations that are independent of the basic demographics. I possess the same fundamental demographic. I may have certain loyalty relationships with hotel companies, that sort of thing, but the personas are very, very fundamentally different. So it's a, a very different way of looking at your guest on a very personal basis, which is also looking at what are they going to be doing and hoping to accomplish on that particular trip that they're going to be taking. Right. So it sounds like uh, there are, are even different personas within the same individual. Uh, how exactly can a hotelier go about uh, getting a better understanding of what personas they should be uh, targeting their communications towards? Well, most importantly, and it's a simple answer, is understand your guest. The, the interesting thing with personas is your guest may be, not intentionally, but they may be behaving in a very schizophrenic manner. So when they come for one particular trip and let's say you have a resort, they may come and play golf and that's great because they're traveling with their college buddies and it's a terrific getaway. That may be very, very different from when they're traveling with their wife and they're doing something that might be more spa related, uh, something more couples related, more romantic, maybe more food and beverage oriented. So all of these are very, very different. The most important thing is, is fundamentally research and research doesn't have to be a, hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, which some companies certainly spend on personas and, and research to find out exactly what segments their markets are, are interested in, what their personas of their various travelers are. But you can also do it very simply. There are lots of tools hotels have at their disposal, disposal certainly social media, certainly the hotel's own website, even as simply as post-travel uh, questionnaires in terms of post-stay questionnaires. All of those tools, if structured properly, can give some tremendous insight in terms of what, why people are traveling, why they selected the hotel, and what they accomplished if their expectations of the hotel were met, and if they had a satisfactory trip. And if you start tying that back into romantic getaways and 
that sort of thing, buddies, getaways, family trips, it gives the hotelier a, a tremendously different perspective on their customer and hopefully will help engage that customer more effectively and be able to communicate more effectively with them. Robert, you, you touched upon a couple of different personas uh, uh, in your earlier uh, conversation. Can you share some insights on um, uh, some different types of personas that, that you have seen uh, before and how they differ on the, in their online travel uh, planning process? Certainly. I've um, been involved with a, a number of companies that have, have done work on personas, and it's very interesting. Some, I'll, I'll give a great example. Um, packaging is, is certainly a very hot, hot area within online travel. And we found that some people enjoy packages. They like them. They feel that they get better value. They can wind up, it's, it's simpler. More things are booked at the same time. So it's, it's a simpler process. It provides value to them. And that's terrific. Except there are other individuals who don't like packages. In some cases, they feel they might be purchasing something that they don't really want. Something's getting bundled in that may not be, may not be ideal. So you may have two different groups, two different personas looking at the exact same product being able to be purchased through different channels. And they may have a predisposition to book through a package or to not book through a package. And that makes a tremendous difference where through a package, they may go to an online travel site. If they're booking individual components, they may go to the hotel's brand website. They may go to the hotel's individual site. So the channel may vary tremendously as, as well. So that's one aspect. Another aspect is certainly the loyalty involved with a lot of these personas, where you can sometimes find, um, if anyone saw the, the movie Up in the Air, George Clooney plays a fellow who is incredibly brand loyal. And certainly in the movie American Airlines, Hilton Hotels, and Hertz, this fellow is a miles junkie, and boy, he booked those those products and those travel products and tried to maximize his miles. That's a very particular persona, and that was what was motivating his trip, perhaps the miles almost more than his uh, than his experience of, of where he was going to be and what he was going to be doing. So it, again, it can be very, very different. And again, uh, if you look at the channel being used, it's also very important. For instance, uh, there was a recent article um, that was published regarding the seven trips, I believe Chris Elliott um, uh, published the article, saying the seven trips you should definitely not book online and you should use a travel agency for. And they wound up being very, very important trips, things like weddings, which are very, very highly complex, international trips, things like that. Again, for those sorts of trips, certain personas and groupings of personas may feel better comfort and may feel much more secure if there's a third party expert involved that they can work with, which is terrific. Now, the challenge again for the hotelier is making sure that all their information is available in the formats that those experts are going to be going to be utilizing, be that either an online travel site, a particular travel agency, a, a wedding planner, that sort of thing. Right, it was interesting. I, I saw the same article and, and uh, what intrigued me about the way that they presented it was it was seven trips that you did not want to book uh, online. Um, in your opinion, do you think that precludes uh, people from actually doing other parts of the travel planning process online for those trips? Again, I think it, it really depends on the individual's persona because there are many people, and when you start doing these persona analyses, you find very interesting scenarios where one is certain individuals are, are explorers and they very much like participating throughout the travel process. And, and they want to do all of their research, find out all the details, evaluate all of their different options, and in many cases, book it themselves and take care of all the details. You know, maybe they're more type A control freak um, type thing. I'm not exactly a, not exactly sure. I don't want to characterize too much, but someone who really wants to find out all the details, that's great. They may want to, that person may be very happy with taking on their own destination wedding, which I can't imagine someone doing that. That's certainly not my persona wanting to do something like that. But for that individual, that may be great. Um, so that there are individuals who always want to explore new destinations. They, they are checking the destinations off of their list, kind of a been there, been there, done that, always moving, checking something, checking something new. Right. On, on the other hand, there are people who go back to the same destination time after time, highly loyal. They know exactly the regimen of 
what flight they're going to take. They're going to hit Vegas at a certain time. They're going to stay at the hotel. The casino hosts know them. And certainly the casino industry has, has worked very, very hard to, to effectively market to communicate and be relevant to those individuals. So it really depends on the, on the individuals and it's the, their internal motivation for the trip, which really drives a lot of the decision making. So let me ask you, Robert, how can a hotel improve their online presence or, or uh, more specifically, uh, the content that they have online uh, using uh, personas? Well, the most important thing is to make sure, and it, it's a, a marketing, marketing standard, and certainly now with, with social media, absolutely critical, is to be relevant to, the, to your target. So with these different personas, what the hotels need to do is make sure that when they have their, their content, be it textual, be it, be it images, still images, be it um, a video, all of those need to be suited to, that, to the personas that will be using the hotel. So the hotel doesn't really want to sit there and say, boy, I'm everything to everybody, and here's just some generic, generic information. Certainly all hotels have, have standard shots of there's the exterior, and here's the lobby, and there's the swimming pool, and the health club, and that sort of thing, shots of the guest rooms. But the personas take a lot more into consideration than just the physical plant of the of the hotel. It's what are the experiences that can be accomplished at the hotel and how will that hotel provide a better trip and overall experience and, and make that more fulfilling for the for the guest. So really it's to look at you if you looked at it from a website perspective, looking at the navigation, are is there the ability to start looking at romantic romantic getaways or families or whatever those various sorts of trips that people would be using at the hotel to get in. And even if you're an airport property, it doesn't mean, boy, we have lots of competition, that sort of thing. What's so special about us? Each hotel has a unique, sell unique selling proposition and what differentiates that property from the competition. Why do your guests like staying at your hotel is the most important question to ask. And then it's basically build your content around that and then show them as richly as possible using images and particularly video of individuals who might be similar to themselves experiencing the hotel, having a great time. It's um, an advertising agency I worked with many years ago when I was with Four Seasons, Amarati and Puris, was very famous for the, the ultimate driving machine um, advertising campaign for BMW. But their perspective was, was very unique and I think it ties into personas very well. They said that the product is really the frame for the picture if it, you're considering a piece of art. And that individual experience in the travel is actually the canvas. So it's really how do you frame your hotel around your, tra your, your guest and your traveler to make sure that everything looks best and they can envision and basically be inspired and gain some confidence that they're going to have a terrific time at your property. So it's, it sounds like uh, some of the, um, the benefits to looking through that persona lens, if you will, is the ability to increase the level of relevance in your communications and in your content to your guests. Uh, hoteliers perhaps should consider looking at the navigation of their websites uh, based on personas and uh, the ability to uh, show um, their guests uh, visual and textual content as richly as possible in the context with which that person uh, is looking for travel online. Absolutely. And, and I think you, you hit it right on the head. The context is absolutely, absolutely critical. Robert, thank you very much for uh, coming to VTV today and discussing personas with us. Uh, we look forward to having you on future episodes. Thank you very much. The personas are, are complicated, but again, hotels can be very unique. And I think they can, if they really focus on it, they can do a terrific job and really differentiate themselves from the competition. Thank you, Robert. Thanks. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts. <laughs>